going on? <laughs> that was Pebbles the sequel. <laughs> Welcome back to our stupid reaction. It's a Corbin. I'm Rick. It's so Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> juicy content. Follow us on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account. Ring the bell on the squad. Bang! There it goes. Uh, today, uh, we're doing a movie review. In case you haven't read the title, you weirdo. Yeah. When you click on a video without reading the title. What do you think title. this is a reaction? Um, it's actually an extended reaction. That's true. That's what a review is. Technically, It's just yeah. an extended reaction. Um, of the Tamil movie Pebbles, or... Say the... Kusangal. Which is the, the actual uh, Tamil name. Word. Uh, it's, I believe, it's translated to Pebbles for us dummies in yes. English speaking. Only speak one uh, <laughs> But it's also, if you didn't know this, the Oscar submission for India for the 2021 Submission for all of India. I think it was unanimous, 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 unanimously chosen by whatever board that does the, the stuff and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, so since almost probably none of you, none of you have seen it, we're gonna do a decent non-spoiler. Yes, right. Um, but yeah, it's. I, I think I saw. I think people posting that it's starting to go into some theater. So always check if it's coming near you in a theater. Um, it, it'll probably closer to, especially if it gets steam to get the nomination, it will probably get a bigger release. Correct. Um, or it'll at some point get on OTT platforms. But uh, if you haven't watched it, go watch it, come back. It's only an hour and Honestly, ten? honestly, it's probably an hour and five yeah. with 10 minutes of credit. Right. Uh, <laughs> um, but Rick, your initial non-spoiler thoughts, please. Um, I have to talk about it, and you may agree with me, in terms of it as a movie itself, mm -hmm. and then it as a movie that is the submission to the Oscars, because uh -huh. I see it in different ways. Mm -hmm. um, because when it, as it pertains to its submission to the Oscars, I'm not in agreement that this was the best choice, mm. but when it comes to the movie itself being a worthy film to watch that is extremely different, extremely creative, and, and very enjoyable to watch. Yes, if you take away the Oscar submission element of it, it's one of the better movies that you're gonna see. It has some flaws that for me are not only, uh, they're small, there's one technical flaw I really didn't understand, especially as an Oscar submission. But other than that, it should be supported. I think it's a, it's a, it's a film that, especially for the Tamil film industry, my understanding is it's a very different kind of film for the industry mm -hmm. and the kind of difference that there needs to be more of because it truly is a, it's, it's a film but we'll, we'll talk more about the whether it should be a submission I don't think it should have been mm. uh, no I, I really enjoyed this film I thought it was really unique I thought it was nice in terms of the Oscar submission um, I could see the pros to it in terms of going and uh, just like the only two other films I think could have gone were obviously sorry, sorry we're done, done. I could see the, I could see the flaws and why that wasn't chosen. My personal pick would have probably been Great Indian Kitchen. Mine would have been Sardar. I, I think it's it was short enough and powerful enough and good enough um, to meet all. The, that would be my one gripe with Sardar Udan is the length of it um, for yeah. for them. That would be where you're going for a Western audience. Yeah, it's, but Lagan got nominated. That's true, but that was a long time ago. As true. Well. <laughs> But True. anyways, that's not what this is about. This is about this one. I thought this one was very, very good. It was almost similar to a lot of the, um, um, uh, what is it, Assamese, like uh, village rock stars in, in terms of like, yes. it looked like I was in this village. Right. Right? Yes. Um, and so it's, it's surrounded by the, it's, it's basically follows this dad and this kid. Their day. Yeah. Honestly, that's as simple as it gets. There's some uh, stuff and there's some messaging yes. that, that I really obviously... Oh, I, we can talk about that all the day long. The messaging was absolutely fantastic, I think, in the film. Very subtle as well at times, um, but it's also ended on a, on a, on a strong <laughs> note. And so you, you can get a couple different messages from it. Yeah. Um, in, ter in, in terms of um, like the ending, in terms of the, in the entire scope of it, in terms of why I think Oscar people would actually really enjoy this film as well. I really enjoyed it. Probably one of my favorite top 10 
easy of the year. Uh, yeah, I would put it. In, I would put easy. it in my top ten. Easy. Um, uh, I, I still haven't sat down and looked exactly. I, I would put it in my top ten. It wouldn't be in my top five, okay. um, and partly because of the fact that there is. Uh, I I thought I noticed this in the trailer, but I definitely noticed it in the in the film. Um, the uh, there were. I don't know if you noticed this, uh, but technically there was foley work that was bad, um, mm -hmm. and it was on footfalls. If you're having foley work done, it needs to match the footfalls. And too often, you would see physically footfalls happening and the sound isn't matching. And now, granted, they matched them when the feet were visible. But when the feet weren't visible, there were a lot of times where it's very clear based on the stride and the leg and the arms, if you're seeing it from the knee up or higher, the footfalls should be matching what I'm seeing physically. And there was enough of that to make me just scratch my head and go, how did we not match the Foley work? Yeah. Um, that's the only... T cinematography. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the symmetry in this reminded me of... Um, I always... I always change... Bong Joon-ho. I oh, always okay. switch around this, the gotcha. pronunciation of his name. And, and that, the reason being is because he's, he is such a mathematical, like, it's different than uh, Sanjay Lila Mansali, who has true symmetry, but it's more about the beauty of light and color. Yeah. This is mathematical symmetry. Like, there was this one shot where it's landscape and mountain and ground, and when the bus pulled up, the amount of time that had been taken to make sure that the bus filled the frame exactly in a spatial distance that had it in the very middle... It, it, yeah. The consistency um, with that was pretty impressive. So, I think we would both say go see this movie. Please. It's, when you it's can. worth supporting. I will, I will be rooting. If this does end up getting nominated, I will be rooting for it, obviously, because I think that'll be an accomplishment alone by itself, just to get nominated. Oh, of course. Um, it's just the fact that, you know, three have been nominated right. in the entirety of Indian cinema. Correct. Uh, and I can see the reasons why they picked it. It's really short. Uh, it's just, it's a well done film. It's, 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 and like you said, it's and, a, it's okay. a film. But let me ask you, I have a question uh -huh. and I don't think this gives anything away. I'd love your opinion on okay. this because I, I see the messaging and I see the metaphors and the allegories that I think are extremely strong. And it's one of the, the, the best points of the film. Yeah. My concern is that for too broad of an audience, this could perpetuate the stereotypes. And I don't believe that was the intention of the filmmaker at all. I think it's doing the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. However, I have concern that that's why a film like this versus, say, a Sardar Udamag, especially, but even a Great Indian Kitchen, that doesn't. Now, again, this is, the film is a bit subversive when it's talking about those stereotypes. There's a lot of representational things about patriarchy. There's a lot of representational things, both direct and indirect, about matriarchy and the differences and the new India versus the old India. I mean, that's, that's deeply in there. Uh, because so many Academy members don't watch every film, how hard is it going to be for them to wrap their head around the fact that that's really what's going on versus just looking at this and thinking, ah, oh, this is what India and Indians are like. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I guess you could say that about any film. I mean, Not Sardar Udham. Yeah. I, and I realize that's your favorite, but <laughs> we're talking about this film. Um, and so you... It's... Not White Tiger. I would, I would pick this and that. No, I'm talking about that messaging. Well, I think you would still get that messaging in White Tiger because it still has all the slums and it has all that kind of stuff. And, and that could be a reason why they picked it because they know white people like to feel bad for a certain group of people. That's what the Academy mostly is. I'm, I'm, I'm saying if they're looking at it from a strategic point of like, I want to get nominated and for people to see. I, but, I, right. on, but that's not the only reason. I think it's a worthy film. It's... It would be in my top three for submission. It wouldn't be my pick. I would have picked Great Indian Kitchen. I think that has a stronger message and just as, as good of a film and all that kind of stuff. But I, I think it, in terms of the films I've seen this year from India, Sardo Dunn, Great Indian Kitchen, and this would be the ones that I would be like, okay, you can submit those. Yeah, it's definitely... They all have, I think, certain things that I could say, I don't think so. I also think you could do it. I definitely understand why... This was at least in the conversation. Mm -hmm. Part of my concern about this being the nomination, and you brought it up a second mm -hmm. ago, is I one the difference between, say, um, 
the Film Federation of India and the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences mm. are extraordinarily different organizations. Mm -hmm. um, the, the Film Federation of India, if you look at their objectives on their website, consistently the word industry comes up over and over and over again to preserve the industry, protect the industry, 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 industry. I can't find the word art form, artistry, um, film, uh, entertainment. It's, it's, it's very much just industry, 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 industry. The other thing that concerns me about the board that makes that approval is that while there may be filmmakers that are a part of that group, and I don't know the, the broad diversity of the group in any way, shape, or form, I just know that the, that committee is made up of producers, distributors, exhibitors, and studios. Mm. And, and none of those people have to be artists, and many times they're not. Whereas the Academy is made up of artists, and as you know, the Academy, it's the actors that choose the actors, the cinematographers that choose the cinematography, and then ultimately picture is all of the disciplines, and it's about elevative artistry. So my concern is to lose sight of the fact that, and like for the criteria, you can't even submit something to the Film Federation in India unless you have approval from the censor board. Yeah, well, I, I get all that. <laughs> but that's where, let's talk about the film. Well, I guess this it. is pertinent because yeah. I'm... I, are we going to choose a film that gets sent to the Oscars because it is the highest elevative expression of the art form or because we think it's the one that's politically going to be seen? And we talked about this with Gully Boy last year. It's like, if you're going to play the politic game, we get it. This makes sense. I just wish that we could talk about just one criteria and one criteria alone, and that is the artistic excellence of it and not, is this what we need to do to get them to accept us? Well, I think it's probably multiple of that in the conversation. Because you're talking about the Academy, which is an award. Them is trying to get to the award. Right. That's their whole point, is trying to get to the award. But shouldn't your getting to the award be because you, this is, we're saying this is what India has presented that is by far the most excellent I think they probably, artistry. I think they probably think this was. And I, like I said, this is, in my opinion, in the top three, not what I would have chosen. If, did you notice the Foley mistakes? Not too much, no. Oh. Yeah. I don't know how you missed that. <laughs> Not too much. I mean, I noticed when they were trying, because obviously they had lower budget and they were trying to, you know, pan around like we saw in the trailer. Yeah, that was a know, great choice. All that kind of stuff. Um, it, it, when, like, there was a fight going on, you know, they were panning to the other side. Because sure. obviously, for budget reasons, to make it look more yeah. authentic, they would do that stuff. But no. Um, but I understand what you're saying. Totally get it. I do think it's a worthy submission. Would it be my submission? No. Yeah. I, I would have picked... A, a different one but in terms of the overall film i think it's a very very good film you should definitely go see it um the i thought all the acting it wouldn't very original it wouldn't shock me if all the actors were just from a village honestly yeah right yeah like i don't maybe the kid was it was an actor like the main kid maybe but like because we've seen that a couple times in terms of village stuff yeah like, I, I think hellerow might have done that with a few of the the villagers a few of the villagers uh, yeah and like i think the um, um Rima Das, right? I think she's done it heavily with Village Rockstar and, and, and yeah. the, uh, the other one. Yeah, as did, as we know, going all the way back to, that was something Satyajit Rai loved to do, is he yeah. would see someone that fit the role and he would get them and they may have no Which experience. Which is so interesting because it could be totally It could be disastrous, awful. yeah. <laughs> it's a big gamble. Uh, but it worked incredibly well because I believed everybody in this village. I believe their dynamics of the village. Um, I thought it was super interesting. I love the long it, shot. This guy loves long, oh, yeah. that, that one the long, long shot. The long shot yeah, was I great. I thought that was great. Uh, when, it's, when it started and when it, after the fight and when it came out, I was like, I think they're still in the same show. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, me too. It was real, real really nice. Good. Um, real, real nice work. And this director also just loves static, long static shots, which Very I appreciated. So. I do too. Um, and there's a lot of messaging in here from the, the, at the beginning, it's almost like a throwaway, right? The uh, what's, we're in spoilers. Oh, should we go into the spoilers now? Yeah, we're in spoilers. Okay, so if, please if go you watch, watch it. it. Go watch it. Support it. And now come back uh, and, and we'll tell talk us about what the film. you thought about the film. Um, but yeah, the on the bus when the mom with the baby, she had to get off the bus. Right. Because they woke up a baby and she had to breastfeed and she couldn't breastfeed on the bus. Right. That's the sole reason she wasn't off. She didn't get off the bus because she needed to get off the bus. Right. And uh, and so that whole line. And then I thought. Did you think when he was walking and he turned around and stubbed his toe, I thought he saw her. I thought it was her that he saw. They never showed who, who he actually saw. Oh, uh, it may have been. And I don't think he was that's... like looking back? Well, yeah. And you assumed it was like a girl and he's like, you better not do anything. I thought it was her it, that, that uh, he was passing by. It could have been her. And then he stubbed and got... Ooh, that was it could have been the snake. She could have been the snake. You know, it could have been his temptation to turn around 
mm-hmm. and look back at that snake yeah. that came in front of him. It was a little um, subplot that I enjoyed. Yeah, a lot of, if there's one thing to credit the writing and directing about the most is that this is definitively cinematic. Mm-hmm. Cinema is show, don't tell. Yeah. Theater is tell, don't show yeah. more, most of the time. This was and this a, is absolutely show, don't tell. Yeah, uh, and I From lo- start to finish. I loved, obviously, the whole dynamic of the father and the, the, the son and their kind of, not their like, dynamic, but I loved the, the back and forth. Of I did too. Him, like we saw in the trailer. And I, I don't know how much this was intentional by, and forgive the mispronunciation because I know I'm going to mispronounce your last name, but uh, P.S. Uh, Vinithraj, who, who directed and wrote it, but aside from the main story and what we're seeing and that, what that means in the human experience, but representationally what it conveyed and I don't know how intentional he was with this because I know this comes from a true story for him uh, and, and the um, representation of old India and new India. Because mm-hmm. we got the patriarchal matriarchal, obviously, but I saw an embodiment of the, the dad as the old... Uh, version stereotype and the kid as the new uh, growing becoming and how much they're at war with each other but even oddly there were also times where it's like okay so why is the kid still following him you know because he's his dad it's his dad and this is just his daily life which is what it showed which is why it's called pebbles which I which, kind of wanted. Which at the end, which I yeah. love the reveal of him putting the pebble down. And I like, kind of wanted. I understand the final shot. This happens like every day. I understand the final mm-hmm. shot. I think the final shot's You're talking about the girls? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I love that. I would have preferred the final shot to have been... Mm. I was waiting for the dissolve on the pebbles. No, I liked the final shot. Prefer, preferred one that. and the fact that it went on. I love that the, through the credits, through the length of through the, the film, entirety honestly. of the credits. The credits were as long as the film. I'm pretty sure. I know. Uh, With just that, because that that drives home a point. <laughs> Many sure points actually. Many points. Many With points. all of them sitting there, just sitting there waiting. And his mom was probably in that one. Yep. And so he he does all this to so like you know he can calm down and not be drunk by the time mm-hmm. he gets home. Eat. And he kind of just goes to sleep, and then the day starts over, and he has to do it again. Tomorrow. And it all happens again, and he doesn't kill her, but he's going to go back and tell the village he's going to kill her, and people are going to get mad and say, "Why God are you in this family?" Yeah, yeah. I, I I enjoyed that whole. It was it was wonderful. I, I when he put the rock down, I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> and also, I don't know if it was intentional, but obviously, the little toy that he was going to bring his sister turned into a real dog. Yeah. In the end. <laughs> I don't know if there's like symbolism there, but My, I, I, don't, I don't know what that was either. Yeah, because um, obviously he lost the toy, but then he brought home a real dog. Yeah, um, which was cool. I love obviously the the um, the when he he put the rocks down, and you finally get that reveal of oh, this happens yeah. every this single happens day, and then the literally time. the old lady just yeah, I lo- I loved and it. I, I was like, this drives home a point. Well, it does drive home the point, and it takes the pebbles to incarnating themselves in the people. And I, it, I understand. It, it made it even better with, I understand at the that. end credits. So that just, it just kept going, and this old lady's taking forever. Well, and, and it does convey, in addition to that, the sense of, for the ladies sitting there, you know, everything, how long do you have to wait for everything? And will, and, and does waiting for it ever mean you're going to get it? Is it going to change? What is? There, there's a lot to talk about. That's why I said at the outset when I gave my initial thoughts is that the film needs to be talked about, I think, first and only, really only for me, of itself as a really one of the better films of the year. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the Oscar conversation, for me, I just don't think it... My personal taste, not just the Foley problem, uh, but I, I, was, I was hoping it to be more important, more profound, and more definitively evoking the, the Oscar conversation. Mm. But again, setting the Oscar conversation aside, I, I think this is, I hope everybody goes and, and sees it because it's one of the better films. Yeah. Yeah. Of the year. Um, and uh, I, I do hope, I do hope it gets nominated because I, I want India to get that recognition. I do too, um, but I want, I, I want to see the other films as well because I don't want them to just get recognition Unless this truly is that's the best true. thing oh, that's out there. Obviously. Yeah. But uh, I think people could appreciate, even if you've never seen an Indian film, I think, I mean, you might not agree, I think you could appreciate this film uh, from a, a list of other Oscar nominees. And I think it hits a lot of the points that a lot of foreign films in the Oscars hits uh, with being good artistry. I know you don't agree with the Foley work. Yeah, but, no, that uh, and other things. Like, uh, for example, if I was recommending to people, because like right now, I will be, I'm recommending to people the films that 
every Oscar season, when it's the SAGs, the Globes, and the Oscars, there's films that we get to watch because remember, we, we either nominate the films in SAG or we're, we're gonna vote for those nominated and we just love films. We're always paying attention. There's films I recommend. I already have four films. I would tell people, see this film. So of the films we've seen this year that are releases in India, this is your number one recommendation? No, I'm, for me, no. Okay. But it, it would be one, and I think anybody could appreciate this film. You didn't have to uh, see any Indian film before. I think you can. I but, think anybody can appreciate it. But this I film. do think, my concern is that for a lot of folks, I don't know, I think you have to know India to understand some of the messages that are going on, and I think for too many who would see it, I'd love to know what some other people we would recommend it to who would watch it uh, and see what they think who have a lesser understanding about India mm. and see if it perpetuates any stereotypes at all. No, I think it's for them. just let them, like, this is a part of India that they're representing and it's not even maybe of a current India, but it is a part of India. It's not obviously the modern day India. No. Um, at all, but it is a story. And yeah. we've seen this a story, Hellerau, Similar style of village. Um, this one's probably a little more rural than that one was, but that one was a very rural uh, area. And so it's that's I, I that I do not have an issue with at all. Because um, I mean I get it, but anytime you do a story about India, if if you put in the slums or if you put in any um, more rural part, you're gonna get that. Well, if you go to the, the rural stuff. areas, you're gonna have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, but, yeah. I don't I, that I don't have an issue with, but. Let us know what you thought about the film uh, uh, as a whole, and then uh, what, if you think about its Oscar, it's Oscar submission as submission well. And its possibilities. Its possibilities. Uh, so let us know what the next Tamil film that we should watch is. Down below.